Cheers guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. Apologies for the delay in the video. I have some new developments. I have taken off seven weeks from work unpaid and all of that is thanks to the guys on Buy Me A Coffee. I was planning on doing a SIGINT series next, but I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to be able to do. Instead, the reason why I'm taking the seven weeks off is that I am a full-time software engineer and technical consultant, and that usually takes about 50 hours of my week. And then all the things I do for the tech prepper over the last two years take about another 30 to 40 hours a week. So I've been burning 90 hours uh, for almost two years, and I'm fully burned out. So this is going to be my last push, uh, basically not taking a paycheck for seven weeks. And the goal is to work on what is going to be my life's work, I hope. And that's the off-grid, offline compute platform that I've been calling MCOM Tools OS Community Edition. And it's designed to never connect to the internet and allow you to set up with a USB key, which I don't have in front of me, and install that bad boy on some of the uh, approved ruggedized hardware uh, probably will work with mo most things that will run Linux. So I want to show you a quick overview of what I'm doing. And this is also a self-serving plead since YouTube has demonetized me. If you guys want to see stuff like this happen, uh, software is not free. I mean, I don't even want to tell you how much taking seven weeks off is costing me to do this and so that I could focus eight to 10 hours per day, seven days a week for the next seven weeks. I'm actually on day four of this leave of absence and the amount of work I've been able to do is amazing. So I'm encouraging everybody uh, to get over on Buy Me A Coffee, even if you can only do a one-time coffee donation, that would be great. Memberships are really welcome. And as a thank you to all the members on Buy Me A Coffee that are supporting me, I'm going to start doing on Monday evenings at probably 6 p.m. PDT. I'm gonna call it the TTP Nerd Hour, and I'm gonna walk through all of the features and all of the developments week to week over the next six weeks. And that's in addition to everything else I'm doing. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at kind of the lab and what I'm working on, because I think this is gonna be great if you guys really want turnkey off-grid comms. And the R3 release, that's the one I'm calling it right now, is a release around plug and play support. And the goal is no nerd stuff. Let's turn your computer into an appliance, connect up your radios, and it does all the right things for you. So let's take a quick look at the laboratory. Uh, a couple things over here on my shack to note. Number one, the ICOM IC7100 will be uh, fully supported plug and play. Uh, it does not have VHF, UHF, so there will be some limitations on what it can do. Radios like the Yesu FT897D, 857D, 818, 817 that are all band all mode, those are what I'm considering to be tier one radios. And the supported interface for this will be the DigiRig Mobile. This platform is very opinionated. It was really designed around some very specific hardware in mind. This is the uh, Panasonic FZM1 Mark 1 I and 2. And uh, this is what I really designed this product for because I wanted it to be rugged. And as you can see here, I'm about to test out the very first R3 build, which has plug and play support. All right, don't pay attention to uh, the wall that's being patched in progress. So a couple things here. I am gonna be supporting an external USB device. Uh, devices may grow over the future, uh, but there are a lot of offline GPS capabilities such as time sync and a feature I just worked on uh, using Navit. I figured out all the nerd stuff to basically have offline turn by turn directions. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome, especially considering the Verizon outage. Also gonna be supporting via the DigiRig light, this guy right here. Uh, any radio uh, that can actually accept the DigiRig light will work, but uh, I'm gonna be using it mostly with the True SDX. I'm not a fan of the uh, serial integration, so it will not be supported. We're also gonna add support for the QMX and QDX, and then these are kind of the flagship uh, rigs I've been using with the DigiRig Mobile. So the FT818ND with the DigiRig uh, Mobile will be fully supported. This is my uh, Yesu 857D. Again, we've got the DigiRig Mobile mounted here, fully supported with cat control and audio. And then we also have the DR891 support uh, via the DigiRig for the 89 one, so the Yesu 891. All right, so we're gonna ignore this guy. This was actually uh, something that Ike sent me that was designed for the military. If you wanna jump out of a helo, which I plan to do at some point with the FZM1 to prove the concept, so stay tuned for that next year. 
Uh, but these are my primary two development systems. Uh, the first one here is a Dell 7220 with the iKey keyboard. And this is the one that's actually building the build images. And I'm gonna to try to do this about every three or four days. This system uh, is not a ruggedized machine, but Dell calls it rugged. It's the latitude, I think, 5424. And uh, this is basically my machine just to wipe out everything that I'm doing. Uh, I like it because it has uh, really nice access to all the ports for development, but this is heavy and basically just a desktop with a crappy shell that they call rugged. Not rugged, but perfect. I spent about $200 at uh, the uh, Huntsville Hamfest in Alabama to pick this up. So perfect for this application. And then a member donated six months ago and just got a chance to get to it, an ICOM IC705. That was a really nice donation. I will tell you, I spent the first two days of my sabbatical adding 100% plug and play support for the audio interface, the GPS, and the uh, CAT control. It works great. I even uh, am testing this with the, the, the Navit offline turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions here pretty soon. So really cool to have that. And I actually do have a POV cage. He did include one and Armorlock was also kind enough to send me frame as well with the battery compartment. And then just so you guys can get a sense for what I'm doing, I'm actually documenting everything that I'm doing here in terms of kind of daily activities and tracking all the hours. So a lot of work here. And then I'm using kind of the MacBook Pro for all of the uh, backend development. All right, folks, so I know that was a lot going on, but basically I just wanna show you that there's a lot that goes into building large scale software uh, projects like this. And while everybody loves free software, it's very difficult to do at scale. I have a very different vision. Uh, for the most part, everything that I'm gonna be doing will be open sourced with the exception of a few integration points. I need to keep those to monetize it. And it's just because YouTube has fully demonetized me. And like I said, if I can't make this happen uh, this year, I may have to shut everything down. So I really encourage you guys, if you like my content, you believe in my projects, believe in the vision, uh, please uh, consider helping me on Buy Me A Coffee so I can have this focus time to just work on just one uh, full-time job. Other thing, if you guys like those man packs that we had over there, I hooked up with a, uh, a guy that's local, another bad guy, and I very likely may be starting up the TTP man pack bags. Again, just due to how much work is there and the quantities since they're small batch, I only sell those to the supporting members, so another perk for those guys. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. And big thanks to all you existing Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys are amazing. <laughs>